Nothing is free. If we have maximum capital standards, we reduce economic growth and hurt small business and first-time home buyers. If we minimize the capital requirements, then we increase economic risk. And we saw in 2008 how uh, first our economy was shook to the core, and then with the bailout, our constitutional system and social contract was shook to the core. But what I think we can agree on is that poorly tailored regulations are bad. They reduce economic growth without reducing the bailout risk. And uh, I commend the regulators for trying to strengthen our banking system, but there are some poorly tailored regulations. Uh, one example that I'll get to later is giving no credit for private mortgage insurance and thereby hurting uh, first-time home buyers and, and people of color uh, disproportionately. Uh, these regulations are being sold as we're going to harmonize with Europe. It's Basel. It's something the whole world is doing when, in fact, these regulations go far beyond Basel in most cases. Uh, this is not harmony with Europe. This is an attempt to move toward higher standards uh, than Europe has. Um, there is certainly one area that I see where these regulations are inadequate, uh, which might put me to the left of Mr. Kess, and that is on interest rate risk. Um, yeah, uh, before uh, 2019, uh, banks uh, uh, with, a, uh, with over $250 million, I believe, uh, had to recognize unrealized losses on available for sale securities. Uh, that's what the bill I've introduced, the Bank Safety Act, would require for all banks over $100 uh, billion. But what about the held to maturity securities? Silicon Valley Bank proved to us that you can bankrupt a bank by investing in long-term debt, and it doesn't matter which category you put it in, held to maturity or available for sale, if you buy enough of them, uh, you can not just have a liquidity problem, you can have a solvency problem, your bank can be bankrupt, and these regulations inadequately deal with that. Uh, when it comes to stress testing, uh, I've uh, uh, proposed the Effective Bank Regulation Act to say that the bank stress testing should look at interest rates going down as one of the possible stresses. The response from bank regulators sitting right there was no. Bank interest rates going down only helps banks because we have the stupid depositor profit center. Depositors will leave their money in. They don't. Silicon Valley Bank went under. Mortgage servicing rights are hurt by these proposals, and that is going to uh, uh, hurt uh, home, uh, home borrowers, and especially those on the first uh, first time uh, first time home buyers. We have. Uh, I'm concerned about the effect this will have on our capital markets at a time when we pass the bipartisan infrastructure act. This is going to hurt municipal bonds and make it harder for to do the very projects that we united to be in favor of. Uh, as I uh, mentioned, uh, the, uh, uh, you give no credit for private mortgage insurance. And uh, I want to thank uh, Representatives Meeks and uh, Beatty and Vargas and Horsford and others for joining me in sending a letter saying they need to reconsider that. As Mr. Gwynn uh, uh, put it out, Gwynn put it out, uh, this regulation advantages the big borrowers with listed securities and penalizes banks for doing the one damn thing we want them to do, and that's to lend to local businesses, particularly on Ventura Boulevard. Uh, but I, I, I just, I, I can't imagine why they did that. And then finally, as to the clean energy tax credits, uh, this gives them a zero value while preserving a value for the very analogous low-income housing credits. So we have a regulation that does nothing to learn from the Silicon Valley Bank and it encourages banks, if they want to make a profit, to uh, engage in risky, perhaps profitable, but risky bets on long-term, non-interest rate-adjustable uh, uh, bonds without an interest rate hedge. 
and then it hurts first-time home buyers, small businesses, uh, and uh, and the environment. 